What up Hyperchange? Welcome to another episode of Moonshot Monday. Today we're talking about the next industry that's ripe for disruption and you guessed it, Tesla's the one disrupting it. We want to talk about long haul shipping, freight, and logistics. This is the back end infrastructure that gets your food to the deli, that gets your Amazon package to you, and we think it's a massive opportunity ready for mega innovation. Let's run down a couple problems in the modern day trucking industry. First of all, drivers are working really long hours. It's not a great job. There's all these adverse health effects. We found that the average truck driver is about twice as likely to be obese relative to the average US worker and more than twice as likely to be morbidly obese. And it's no secret this is because of the sedentary lifestyle. They're sitting for 11 hours straight, getting really tired. Truckers are far more likely to be heavy smokers. And in fact, we also realized that over one third of all trucker accidents occur because drivers are getting sleepy at the wheel. The industry has one of the highest job turnover rates out of any profession. The more research we did about trucking, the more we, honestly realize that this is just a job that should be displaced by robots, then that would be actually a good thing for a lot of people. And in fact, I don't think we're the only ones that think this. There's a massive shortage of people who actually want trucking jobs. According to our research, over a gap of 100,000 open vacancies of people needing truck drivers, um, simply because it doesn't pay that well, it's not a job that a lot of people want. So we think there couldn't be a better time for, for autonomous trucks to come in and fill that gap. Tesla's coming into this industry with a product that is gonna solve so many of the challenges in the trucking industry. One of our subscribers and a Seeking Alpha contributor, Trent Eady, made a great research report on the Tesla Semi and speculated that over 70% of truck operating expenses could be reduced dramatically by Tesla's technology. Let's dive into what these are. First of all, about 30% of trucking expenses go to paying an employee. Tesla's self-driving capabilities could diminish those rapidly, if not take those entirely away. Second of all, refueling is about 25% of costs. If we take an extrapolation from how much cheaper it is to charge a Tesla from the grid rather than fill it up with fuel, we could get that it's almost half the price to recharge your semi-truck. That would drop another 12% of the operating expenses. Additionally, 10% of operating expenses are due to repairs and maintenance. Tesla's cars are some of the most reliable on the road because they require far less parts than the traditional internal combustion engine. We think that this advantage is gonna carry over to their trucking product and make it need far less repairs than the average truck as well. On top of that, insurance is about 6% of the operating cost of a truck. And this is mainly related to insuring the driver from accidents, which a significant amount of occur because they're, they're tired, they've been driving too long. The trucking industry hasn't seen innovation for decades. So we think it's ripe for disruption. And we think the Tesla Semi is gonna take this industry by storm. Let's talk about the financial implications here. We see two ways that Tesla could monetize their semi-truck product. The first is outright sales. To quantify this opportunity, we looked at sales of Class A heavy-duty trucks in the US. There was about 250,000 in 2016. If we times that by an average selling price, about $150,000 per truck, that's approximately a $40 billion market of new heavy-duty truck sales in the US each year. That's already pretty exciting. In fact, Daimler, to look at it from the company perspective, is one of the world's largest truck operators, and their truck division did about $33 billion in revenue last year with $2 billion in profits. That's about a 6% operating margin. And it's very important to note that the head of the most successful pro truck program that Daimler ever ran, Jerome Guillen, uh, now works at Tesla and has been in charge of the Tesla truck program. We think that's a good sign. If you think about the new truck opportunity, we think that that's a, that Tesla could garner several billion in sales per year by just capturing you know five to ten percent of the market. So that's one way to look at and gauge the opportunity there. And based on Daimler's gross profit and gross margin levels, it would be pretty similar to their car business. Another way to look at it is a freight network. We think that Tesla, much like its rumored Tesla network or autonomous Uber competitor, they could do a similar thing for trucks where they're running routes along main highways and operating the trucks all themselves and then uh, carriers who need to ship things uh, can just pay for spots on those trucks and Tesla would really be the fleet operator. We're not sure which business model Tesla will choose, but we think if they're selling trucks outright to operators, then that'll be a much lower gross margin business, probably around 20 to 25% like their cars. But if they're operating a freight network, then that would be a very high margin service business. But either way, we think there's a several billion dollars per year in gross profit opportunity. If Tesla captures 10 billion out of those 40 billion in new US truck sales at a 25% gross margin, that's 2.5 billion in gross profit, which is gonna be a pretty big impact. And we think if they're operating a freight network, they could get a similar one to two billion in revenue from operating that network at much higher margins. So either way, we're looking at a potential impact of several billion dollars to Tesla's gross profit from a successful launch of this trucking product. 
Tesla's scheduled to unveil the truck in 2017, and they've said that they're already working with the biggest buyers of semi-duty trucks to develop the specifications around this product. When they announce the Tesla truck in September, we think they're gonna announce that the, the partners they're working with have already committed to buy X amount, just like the Model 3, Model S, and X, they're gonna announce a crazy multi-billion dollar backlog for this product, and it's only gonna be about how fast they can build out production and scale this thing. So we think that's gonna get people really excited and allow investors to start quantifying the truck opportunity in September, and that's why we think it's important to highlight now, because the market's gonna start valuing Tesla freight as part of this thesis, bull thesis for the company in a month when we get more details on it. And although it's not actually supposed to start se uh, selling or hitting the road till 2019 or 2020, we think when it does, it's gonna start having that several billion dollar impact to Tesla's gross profit very soon. L now let's talk about the long-term vision of how this product rollout really happens. Elon Musk has hinted in the last couple months at a bunch of logistic difficulties from getting batteries from the Gigafactory in Nevada to the car production facility in Fremont, California. So we think the first use case, a route, that Tesla's gonna set up with their semi-truck is gonna be along this highway. And why we think it makes sense for Tesla to set up routes for its autonomous semi-truck and then and not just sell them outright is because they can build out battery swapping charging infrastructure, which will allow the trucks to refuel incredibly quickly. Although this is a little bit difficult, more difficult to scale, because they actually have to physically build out these battery swap stations, um, it'll be much more efficient like that. And that's why we think they're gonna launch it in sort of one route at a time. And we think the first route will be from Nevada, the Gigafactory, shipping a bunch of Tesla batteries to Fremont, California. From there, they will allow third parties to hop into that network and slowly build out new routes across the US and around the world as they build out these battery swap stations. In 2020 and 2022, we see them opening up the network, having a bunch of different routes. Elon Musk hinted at the shareholder meeting. They've been working with several partners to develop this semi-truck, and we think those are gonna get announced with the unveiling in September. So who are they? We think two no-brainers are Walmart and Amazon. These companies both operate massive shipping networks. They both need to expand capacity. They're both always trying to be on the cutting edge of more sustainable and more efficient trucks, and they have the biggest budgets to invest in new truck infrastructure. So we think it makes total sense for Tesla to be the backbone of Walmart and Amazon's e-commerce businesses and deliver their goods worldwide. So we think that the market is gonna get so excited when they realize that Tesla is not only launching on the electric vehicle trend, but they're launching on to the Amazon delivery trend. Amazon's already been making a push into trucks in fact, in late 2015, it was reported they were buying thousands of trucks, not operating themselves, but just the trailers because they needed additional capacity. And if you think this through, USPS, how you get your mail, FedEx, UPS, all of these delivery companies, if Tesla's truck is really cleaner and more efficient and cheaper to operate, are gonna be switching over to the semi-truck product. The opportunity is massive. On a global scale, logistics and freight is a $1 trillion opportunity. You know, in 10 years, in 2027, we think this is gonna be an incredibly exciting new future. Um, so there's gonna be less pollution, it's gonna be cleaner, it's gonna be cheaper, it's gonna be safer. Like, this is a, such an exciting future. We're amped that this disruption's happening. Like, yet again, Elon Musk is coming out with one of the biggest, most exciting innovations that we think this country needs. And we think this is gonna create billions of dollars for Tesla shareholders in value. We think it's a must, Watch, this event in September is gonna unveil the future of the long haul trucking industry. We think everybody should stay tuned. That's Hyperchange, Moonshot Monday. We'll see you guys next time. It's the new economy, it's like, you buy something on Amazon, a robot plucks it from the warehouse, goes and puts it in a self-driving Tesla truck, the Tesla truck drives for 12 hours, does a battery swap along the way overnight, never stops. The next morning you wake up, that thing you just ordered on Amazon is right at your door. Actually, wait, I probably forgot a step where the Tesla truck goes to like some regional Whole Foods and then whatever you're actually buying gets shodden up to the roof and then a drone picks it up and does the last mile delivery to your house.